I'm joined here again by Chris Selwood, event director. Chris, I've got to ask, each year, each innovation of this event, the rules, are, they're changed, they're altered slightly. Why is that? Look, we, we, we put subtle changes in and every so often, about every five years, we put some serious step changes in to disrupt what's going on. But, you know, we've got some of the brightest young people in the world, but even though they're very bright, like all young people, they'll look at what was successful in the past and, and try and fix that again. We don't want to do that. We want to push the boundaries, particularly in terms of technology. We want to be ahead of what is mainstream technology. So we have to be reactive and uh, scientific faculty, you know the, the, you know the old saying that uh, uh, age and experience uh, beats youth and, and enthusiasm any time. So, so the scientists try and stay ahead of the, uh, the mainstream technology, look at ways of disrupting their thinking, bringing different things in. We've had a couple of different ones this time and, and it's great to see how they've, been, uh, how they've been attacked. And after this event, we'll sit down, look at how those things have been addressed by the teams and whether it's worked for us, worked for them, and what we might do differently in the future. It's great when those guys come to us and say, hey, in particular, the charging regime for the cruiser class car, the Eindhoven guys said, oh, you set us the challenge of running 1,500 kilometers without a, without a static charge. We just think it's fantastic. When we first read that, we thought, we don't know how we're gonna do it, but they've done it, and they think it's fantastic to be stretched like that. And you certainly do like to stretch them, don't you? Over kilometres and the technology. 3,000 kilometres, look, the world's greatest solar car event. You've seen the road out there. It's our unique proposition. Australia, it's fantastic. Nowhere else in the world can we do this to the same scale, to the same intensity, and we're just so lucky that we've got this, this sunshine, this terrain, and uh, the wonderful people of Australia to support us. And mate, I've got to be honest, and the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge is very lucky to have you running it. Another amazing job done, mate. Congratulations. Thank you so much. It's just a delight, absolute delight. Listen, mate, thank you.